-hmm. Now that everything's thoroughly soaked. There it is. Up there. Damn. There's a ladder there. How could I not grab that? That ladder right there. get it in there then do that another time and we're gonna start this next main quest and then call it I didn't realize I've been streaming for this long Almost five hours. This road is the storm's tough. The end. Oops. Oops. I'm just running over little animals. Hey, this place isn't over yet. Race? Well, they definitely don't sound like rebels. Maybe if I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my focus to follow mm -hmm. the tracks those riders left behind. I don't really care to. the road that looks crazy over there over here it might be a smart idea to go get him first
Where's it at? Doesn't look like there's any way to climb this tall neck. Like she just flat out tells you, can't do it. It's got a lock on it. I'm guessing that's saying I just can't do it yet. That's interesting. Gotta find the right cauldron to learn how to override that machine. Shares. In fairness, I think you hit that before they actually did it. I'm getting close to Ether's location. I said it would be in some kind of physical processor. I do feel, I do think you, you were cheated. Turned into a Tanakh stronghold? Could Ether be inside? Poking around's not going to be easy with Tanakh's warriors everywhere. No sense. Regala's army only grows. Regala's forces may seem strong now, but... Her machines took out my entire squad. Wonder if... Remember the visions. The old ones didn't choose their fight. But still, they stood firm. They didn't falter. And neither will we. Hmm. Blood of the Ten. You've come to us. You know who I am? Oh, the warrior with hair like wildfire who defeated Regala's champion at Baron Light. <laughs> yes. You are known to us. I am Dekka, chaplain of the Lowland clan. You've come to speak with Chief Hikaro. Not quite. There's... there's something I need here. Anything you need, the Chief will provide. Come. Well, let's go Is that one of the visions talk to him and then about? we'll call it. Yes. The records of the Ten. I can show you them, if you like. On the way to the Chief. These visions, you said they're the records of the Ten. Who are they? Old ones, who fought a heroic battle against machines on this very soil long ago. Their deeds are honored in the visions. <laughs> At least what remains of them. To be remembered and exalted. There used to be more of these visions? Many more. Once this place was filled with light and sound, but over the years, they've fallen into darkness, one by one. That is why chaplains are so important to the tribe. <laughs> we remember all we can of the visions, etched in our flesh, passed down by word of mouth from generation to generation. One day the whole grove may go dark, but chaplains who come after me will keep the memories alive. Why does Hikaru want to see me? We are at war with Regala. And you've already shown that you can stand against her. I'm not here to fight a war for you. Not for us. With us. But I won't try to persuade you. That is for the chief. He can be very convincing. What does it mean to be a chaplain here? 
We who outlast our youth study the visions and share their wisdom with our young. What kind of wisdom? How to be a true warrior. To fight with bravery and unflinching honor. And to know when to call for peace. You can see for yourself when we go inside. Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's go see Chief Akaro. He's in his throne room at the far end of the grove. Come, be welcome among the records of the ten. Let's see what these are. We'll talk to the chief and call it for the night. I think I will be playing a little bit offline. Um, doing side things that have no story to them. It's glitched. Just to get uh, levels. Their full truths are lost to us. It's a chaplain's duty to make sense of these visions as best we can. Led by weapons were battle. What is this? The ten were dedicated soldiers, working together as a squad and sharing in their duty. And when the time came for battle, they took to the skies and leaped to glory. All Tanakh seek to follow their example. Before the chief, it was one of the few things the clans had in common. What is this? read this email from Makia Adora director to Andy Wright staff instructions hi Andy could you please inform relevant staff and maintenance hosting and security of the following new opening and closing protocols I've already briefed Dwight and Shanik at music thank you Makia Opening the gallery rooms, holographic displays should all be live 15 minutes before opening time. Inspect showcases for smudges and wipes with dry cloth if necessary. Inspect outdoor areas for temperature and humidity. Closing the gallery rooms. Make sure the cleaning robots have finished their sanitation rounds. Double check for restocking of supplies. Sign off on cleaning, usually with Ned. Escort cleaners to staff entrance. Final rounds, final rounds hand over to night security through music. Exit through staff entrance. This was a museum, obviously. Oh, I want to watch the visions. We, I want to go through that. During their war, the ten climbed sheer rock, raiding blinding snow and wind. They stopped at nothing to protect their own. You make them sound invincible. They weren't. But the visions tell us of their courage and strength. Something our soldiers what these are. To. These have to be something that we know in, this one above all in real life. They make their home in the mountains northwest of here. Exhibits show holographic representations of all seven G sign battle drone models deployed during conflict. JTF 10 rapidly made a mockery of G Sin's non lethal approach. In engagement after engagement, whether it was surprise artillery barrage from the frigid slopes of Gold Mountain north of the Big Bear Lake, or a desert ambush near the solar plants in Nevada Desert, or a wingsuit jump into the jungles of Columbia to stop an attack on a rare earth. Convoy JTF-10 soldiers repeatedly proved that state-of-the-art AI and newfangled weapons were no match for human cunning and 
So it's nothing that actually happened in our time. What's this one about? The Ten waged war against their enemy in the desert heat. A land too harsh for any to survive. But against all odds, they prevailed. So the Desert Clan does the same. It must have passed through their territory on the way here. Huh. It did. They sound a little extreme. They take. Okay. Uh, it was the origin of Executive Order 2036 3000 or 3003H. Which used congressional granted emergency powers to mandate the excava excavations or evacuations of most counties in the region outside of Los Angeles, Las Vegas, and Phoenix. Displaced families and individuals would be tempor temporary camps before places could be found for them in habitable areas. To enforce the order, the government threatened to nullify existing water agreements between the Northwest and Southwest, essentially turning off caps for so-called tri-state hot zones. To its supporters, 73H was a humanitarian effort designed to preserve resources and help climate-stricken south southwestern families start new lives. This is when the world was starting to go to crap. I get it. To its opponents, the order was clear bait and switch. The federal government had broken its deal with Medina and a greedy land grab that employed eminent domain to seize mining claims. At the same time, it would place southwestern refugees in fenced-in camps, which were quickly disparaged by 73 Hell, a provision that incited immediate data. That is a compliment. So I see what's going on. These guys fought back and were deemed heroes. Soldiers in a jungle. Those were the ten? Yes. Hey, they knew how to use the jungle's depths to distract the, the enemy the until the perfect this moment to strike. Generations ago, my clan, the Lowland, looked to this one for inspiration as they claimed the jungle to the southwest. Carefully written cards of glyphs with fascist personal mark, evidently part of the diary of a journal. From Decca, the wise and patient chaplain of the Lowland clan, I finally learned the answer to a question that had long vexed me. Before my capture, the only tenth uh, I ever had a conversation with, if one could call it that, was a prisoner at Sunstone Rock who spoke of taking the blood of children of her enemies as her own. Her rant seemed to confirm the lurid stories about the tenth. I had read in my youth, yet in all my time in the Forbidden West, I have never seen such a barbaric, I've never seen such barbaric practices. I wanted to know if there was truth to the prisoner's words. There was. Those were the old ways, Decca clarified, dating from the constant warfare between clans of years past. Since the assist, ascension of Chief Hikaru, such practices have been outlawed, though not completely abolished. A few stray, um, a few have strayed and exile still cling to them. Intriguingly, the acts themselves were never as malicious as the Karja portrayed them to be. Tasting the blood of a fallen foe was meant to honor their martial deeds, and orphan children were taken from conquered settlements to be raised as equal members of their new clan, which was considered to be a merciful outcome. I cannot help but see myself in this context, an orphan of sorts, taken in by a new tribe. I, it hasn't been easy. There are still those in the clan lands who would reject me. Still, the more I learn about my new people, the more I notably, or the the more I see nobility in the cards you have omitted from the records. Gotcha. The exhibits allow us to hear their final moments. Using an interface donated by Sterling Malquette, uh, we can listen to any flight recorder that employs the industry standard error FR encryption protocol, version 3.5.4 or later. Simply place a black box in the interface to listen to its context. Please maintain a respectful silence as you hear the voices 
I have a black box. So where do I put that at? Is it here? Wait, you have an old world recording? This box was speaking with voices of the old ones. But now there's noise over them. Let me take a look. Where did you find this? We took it from an Asaram Delver. She was trying to steal it and other artifacts from Tanakh territory. The others were going to bury it in the sand with her. But then I heard the voices. Well, the data here is badly corrupted, but... Delta Juliet 9, you are weapons free and clear to engage the swarm. Good hunting. Copy that. We'll buy Zero Dawn the time you need. Delta Juliet 9, out. The voices of warriors from the past. And that Osiram wanted to sell them for shards. The bravery of the Ten should be remembered. I'm not sure what you mean by the Ten. These voices came from the final battle of the Old Ones. Another battle? I could learn more about it if I could find the other boxes. That Delver did say there might be more recordings to be found I've got in the one. wreckage of ancient flying machines. She claimed she had a way to locate them. Yeah. The box with the voice data on it is emitting a locator signal. I could use it to find the others. If you do then, bring them back here. I will see to it that they're treated with proper respect. Whatever sacrifices were made by these ancient soldiers, we will honor them. Well, I like this clan. Do you get many Osirim Delvers in Tanakh's territory? Fewer every time we catch them, but those thieving rats would do anything for the shards. There'll always be some who will risk coming here. And what do you do with the ones you catch? Delvers spend their lives in the dust. So we bury them in it. Alive. Why do you want these recordings? Every battle teaches its soldiers. We should learn those lessons and honor those who fell. That is our way. I've already found a recording. See? I'll take any you find. Oh, yeah, I let found me one. give you something for it. Are they just going to give me all of this stuff? Oh. Well, of course we're going to get legendary stuff. Um, I guess we'll go with a Stormbird Storm Cannon. These voices will be kept here. They will be remembered. I want to listen to it. Let me know when you have one that you'll part with. If I find more of those recordings, I'll bring them back to you. Well, hold on. You're not going to let me listen to it? Well, that's kind of a, a bait. My focus can detect beacons from those recording devices. Should help me to find any others that are still out there. What's this? It was planted there by the chief. Ask him if you're curious. It's his tale to tell. Oak. Okay. All right, let's go meet Hikaru. The chief is inside. Are you ready to see him? I'm ready. Good. Come. Be not real. underneath the throne oh they're not gonna be happy oh there he is oh he's got one arm see you soon, oh Outlander. hey that's the guy from the the first the savior battle. of meridian i am told you held back regalus forces outside barren light 
and defeated her champion, Grutta, in single combat. Impressive. I met Fashav there, too. He said you were a great warrior and a man of honor. His death is a painful loss among many. We will not soon recover from the massacre of our marshals. But if you are here to pledge your service, that could help considerably. I am not here to fight for you. I need something in that basement. Something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. Huh. You have named your price. Now I name mine. Ooh. With my marshals dead, I need your spear. Help me defeat my enemies, and I will grant you access to the chamber below. I don't have a price. I am not a hired killer. I'm here to save lives, more than you can count. I count the corpses of marshals slain. I count hundreds more to knock them whose lives hang in the balance, I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too, if you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now and taking what I need to save everyone? You could try. Oh. You might even succeed. Either way, you must fight. My way might hold off Regala and the slaughter she craves. Fine. What do you need? I need more marshals to keep the tribe together. Such warriors can only be promoted at a trial by combat called the Cool Root. I've sent out a call for hey, the competition. Sushi. Since Regala seeks to undermine me, she is certain to attack it. Yeah, right. She'll want to kill me in front of the assembled clans. So what, you want me to be your bodyguard? No. To defend the cool root. But there is more. It'd have been cool if they'd given us the option, right? Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have balked at sending their contestants. You must go north and force Tecote, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit. Do whatever is necessary. I can't hold the cool route with two of the three clans in attendance. Marshal Katala will assist you. How are you doing, Sushi? Have that Blight, video come together? But he can still be of use. I sent him ahead to the northern village of Stone Crest. Meet him there. And he will guide you to the sky. I think we're going to continue to play this a little bit. If you have any questions about your mission, now is the time. I'm sorry about Fashav. He seemed like a good man. More than a man. A bridge between Tanakh and Karja. No outlander ever earned our respect as he did. I had hoped he would be my voice in Meridian. But peace with the Karja might become something more. An alliance? An exchange. The Karja have much we lack. Our deeds are written in ink upon our bodies. Our memories die with our flesh. But the Karja never forget. Their deeds are written in book and okay. scroll. You wanted to learn from them? As I learned from Fashav. He will be missed. I miss him too. I thought he was a pretty cool guy. Fashav called Regala your greatest mistake. Why? That is not your concern. Really? I fought against her forces at Baron Light, and I don't even know what her problem is. She was the deadliest of my marshals, the point <laughs> of my spear. So what happened? Above all, Regala despises the Karja who burned her younger brothers alive. After we turned back the Red Raids and tore down the battlements of Baron Light, she hoped to chase them all the way to Meridian. Are you going to let us see 